the gas station is just one place where we're seeing a lot more crimes. I mean, people are getting attacked. There's carjackings, a little bit of everything. But to know how to defend yourself is so important. We have seventh degree black belt Ali Mazea here with us today alongside of a Corey to walk us through how we can protect ourselves. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Of course. Okay. I pump my gas solo most of the time. Yeah. What do ladies, or even men too, but what do ladies need to know when it comes to pumping the gas by yourself? Well, you know, you have to realize that first you want to lock that car door to make sure it's locked because a lot of people are hopping in when you pump the gas. And also the gas pump itself is a weapon. Mm. So while you're pumping the gas, if someone comes up, you can literally take that gas and spray it towards your, I didn't say light them on fire. <laughs> That's up to you, bro. Just spray it. Just spray it because we've actually, uh, I don't know if we have video, but we have it where uh, we're showing a few people have actually done this in the past and been able to ward off some attackers. Because the main thing is quick response and you got to make sure you're using your brain. So you should always be looking around, but lock the door when you pump your gas. Being aware, lock your doors. And if in the event something happens, Go ahead and yeah. use the gas pump. Yeah, use your natural weapons yeah. you got around you, you know? Or if you're wearing heels, because I've yeah. got gas or time or two and some heels. And the angel heels, fun, you can use those. But you can use those for sure. Absolutely. And you always like to talk about the economy of motion. Mm -hmm. How should we be thinking in that direction when it comes to being outside of our cars, making sure we have enough gas in our tank? Yeah. How do we go with the flow? So when it comes to economy of motion, we've got Corey, and basically it's understanding how the body works, okay? So, you know, one of the good things that you can use, especially ladies, if the attacker's bigger than you, you can use your head as a weapon, mm -hmm. okay? So if you grab or you do the palm heel strikes to the ears and then boom, straight into the head. It works especially if you're shorter, okay? So you can go here, boom. But then understanding that his body's gonna go back. I can elbow and then with economy of motion, he's leaning back, he's exposing this. I can hit him in his groin area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so knowing how the body works. So if you strike somebody in the stomach, they're gonna, they're gonna bend over. So the next strike would probably be to come straight up. And then knowing that, pow, I can come back here. And it just becomes like a dance to where you're constantly just kind of going through your flow of motion. But it's, I'm flowing, but I'm understanding how the body works. Right. And so that's the, the economy of motion. From me. me. There it is. <laughs> no, yes. no, no. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the headbutts. Mm -hmm. We talked about using our elbow. What about the hammer fist? So the hammer fist is a very good weapon because a lot of people aren't looking for it. So everybody, you take your hand and if you kind of hit it against the wall, it's a very strong weapon, okay? And so it won't hurt you. So if someone's coming up on me, Corey, and I go for the headbutt, okay? Notice when I do the headbutt, I use the top of my head and the soft spot of his face or head. I'm not okay, I've, I've, headbutt to headbutt. I have a question. Does that hurt? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it makes a person, well, first of all, you catch them off guard, and second of all, they're wondering what's going on, and a headbutt hurts a lot. And you it I mean? hurts not only the person that's attacking you, but it, it hurts you. Well, no, it doesn't hurt no? us, as long as you're not headbutt to headbutt like this. So notice when I do the headbutt, my head is tucked. I'm using the top of my head boom, to put him. This is an actual headbutt, not headbutt to headbutt. Gotcha. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, so there's a way to do there's the headbutt. There's a way butt. to do the headbutt. And so that's where you, you bring the hammer fist in. So I come in, do the headbutt, and then from here, pow, I can use this hammer fist and go straight to the groin because I knew he was leaning back. Nice. And that's dealing with our economy of motion. Okay. So what would happen if, uh, what would happen, I'm going to, let's just use this as my gas pump. So I'm, you know, minding my business. I'm at the car, putting the pump in the car, do, 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 do. And here I come up on you. He's an attacker. Yeah. So then now you've got the gas pump. You can also, since I'm taller than you, use your head and you could boom, straight down. If I'm coming up on you like this, you can pow. That is going to back me up. <laughs> and now I'm going to realize, then, boom, and, and then, then you finish me off with the angel pump. kick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do have my angel, the angel vibe going on today. Yeah, so. Angel kick. I'm going to hop, get in my car and drive off. There you go. And you've got the gas pump. You've got your head as a weapon. So you want to use the weapons that are around you that you naturally have. And understanding how the body works is really important. That is awesome. Well, you have a class coming up. Give us those details really quickly. So the class we have, the tactical self-defense class is, let's see, I think we've got it on Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays at 7 p.m. And you can come and learn some of these self-defense tactics, how to well, use your body. You can learn it. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Nude St. Louis. Have a good afternoon.